Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a records this morning. Upper edentulous arch, lower about six or eight teeth. No dentures in place. You can always make a wax rim and call them back tomorrow or next week. But what we've done, we've th through three putty bites, we've gotten the right vertical. And then I'm cutting out a trough right here to pick up a little light body. So I've got some detail of the rugae to align. All right, I'm gonna put this in. Come on over, Julie, look right at the teeth here. Let me have you pull your tongue back, bite down a few times. Open, bite down again. Open, bite down. Oh. There you go, bite. Okay, so the first one we really watched our condylar centric and then we added putty to it twice to increase vertical. Can you get your lips closed comfortably? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. So yeah, can you, can you see the lower yeah. third of her face pretty yeah, good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've got a, vert a working vertical. We've restored the lower third of the face. Now I'll have you open up a bit. Now we're gonna add a little bit of light body to this so that we can get a good uh, detail of these rugae to align to because the putty of course will and I've cut it, the putty of course doesn't give good detail now I've cut undercuts into here to hold the light body in all right so now all I have to do is open put it on the teeth all right let me see a bite down again and the putty's holding the vertical while we capture the impression all right now that's a three minute set time on this that's the only slow part about it can you close your lips comfortably okay very good why don't you put it up here while we wait for that for set so what we have to do again is establish proper vertical dimension at condylar centric so we've used that putty we three times once we closed her in i thought she was overclosed I added a couple millimeters, closed her in. I still thought she was overclosed. I added a little bit, we closed her in, we thought it looked good. So now we're picking up the rugae, the detail for alignment purposes. And from here, we can take her to the CT scan and double check the condyles. And we can use this for a facial scan. We can use it for photos, everything to design teeth. But we're gonna be designing teeth digitally according to the facial scan and uh we'll be picking that up next but if you'll julie look at her whole face look at the proportions of her face now and come right straight in front of her here now she just looks at least 10 years younger already <laughs> 15 years younger already <laughs> just because now we've got a nice strong chin lower third of the no, face looks it's real good your lip looks fine these are a little bulky this this is just a putty wa a putty Oh, it's a, li a little bulky on the on there, but it's not bad. Lip looks good. Your lip lip looks great. Your lips look good. A little little bulky in the corners, right? Especially over here, but mm -mm. this yeah, looks I'm good. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> That's all a part of it. That's all a part of it. You know, you got to deal with the people. <laughs> That's, uh, it's not about teeth. It's about people. All right. We're running a timer back here. So other than that, yeah, the old traditional wax rim approach is another way to go. So what's going to happen afterwards, we'll do a CT scan, check the condyles, do a facial scan, do photos, and then we'll scan in the mouth and scan the bite. If we have good soft tissue, if we pick up those rugae, that'll be a good alignment for the, uh, for the uh, digital design to get our new smile. Also, we're going to... Um, yeah, smile for me for a second. Smile for me. Give me a big smile. Yeah. Just keep your teeth together. Smile real big. There you go. You get an idea already where you want to put teeth. We're going to mark this just like a wax rim. Don't move, okay? Mm -hmm. So I can mark this just like a wax rim. I'm going to, so I can kind of show my designer some things that I want to do here. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little geometry in it so that we can scan it really well. Kind of that explorer back there, that cow horn, the thick one, Nestor. All right, where's that explorer? Trade you, watch that. 
So now we've got, when she smiles, now my designer has something that they can follow sort of for an incised ledge. All right, so let's pull this out and see, open a bit. Now I've got some good detail on there. Are you focused on that, Julie? Mm -hmm. So now I can see my nice rugae. Mm -hmm. See that? Looks like a pink, pink bubble gum and blue uh -huh. bubble gum. I think they call that Superman flavor at the ice cream store. Open real wide. <laughs> Let me see a bite down a couple times. Open. Oh, there you go. Bite. Open. So she's showing me a repetitive bite every time. Bite. Good, open. Good, so now my designer can align the incisal edges in here, okay, to her lower teeth and the rugae to the upper teeth. And because it's a soft tissue and a little bit of floating uh, records, there, of course, may be one millimeter, about a half millimeter of discrepancy, but it'll be an awesome first working vertical. It'll be really great. All right, perfect. So let's go check this CT, okay? Yes, Thanks sir. for recording,